Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh's YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create curved beam in Tecla Structures 2023 version with this curved beam tool. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla Structures with Indian Environment. Before going to create curved beam, we need to create views. So click on grid, right click on mouse, create views along grid lines. And type here, elevation on grid. And similarly type here, elevation on grid now click on create then click on ok and ok now go click on window and select this view list and select planet elevation 5000 planet click on this arrow to open the view and close it you can see currently we are at planet plus 5000 level Okay, now I'm going to create curved beam. So click on steel and select this curved beam. And for example, we're going to take the first point at here and pick the second point here and pick the end point at here. You can see now we have curved beam like this. Right click on mouse to interrupt and click on window and select this 3 view. You can see now we have curved beam like this. Okay, use the shortcut control 4 for render view. And use the shortcut control R and pick the rotation point here and then press the control and mouse middle button to rotate like this you can see now we have a curved beam you can see now we have a curved beam with the number of segments here you can see we have number of segments 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 if you wanted to get a smooth curved beam you need to change the number of segments so right click mouse interrupt and click on window and select this planet 5000 and zoom it here and use shortcut control 4 for render view you can see we have number of segments 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 we need to change the number of segments to get a curved smooth curved beam so double click on this beam and you can see initially you will get like this beam and uh, profile we have ismb 300 and we have scroll it down and you will get here curved beam property curved beam properties window here okay we have number of segments here 10 to get uh, smooth curved beam you need to enter here number of segments 59 is the maximum number of segments uh, we need we can enter here only 59 so click on modify to see the result you can see now we have curved smooth beam like this okay if you want to enter more than 59 it will automatically change into 59 for example you can see now i'm enter 100 click on modify and close it okay now we're going to check once again so double click on this beam you can see you'll get only 59 you can see now we have we know already three points that means starting point and midpoint and end point to create a curved beam like this okay once you create a curved beam Again, if you want to create a normal strike beam by using this option, you will get previous enter curved beam property. For example, you can see, uh, click on steel and select this beam and pick the first point here and pick the second point to create a beam. Click on expand. You can see, but you will get curved beam with a previous property. Okay. If you wanted to create a normal beam, then you need to double click on this beam and you can see scroll it down and you can directly make it radius zero and number of segments one to create normal beam you can see enter the number of radius here zero and number of segments let's take here one and click on modify to see the result you'll get like this okay we have another option also for example you can see now we're going to create curved beam once again at here pick the first point here and pick the second point and pick the third point to create curved beam right click on mouse interrupt you can see now we have curved beam now we're going to change this number of segments so double click on this beam and let's take number of segments here 59 then click on modify now if you want to change this uh, radius for example let's take here number of uh, radius uh, value 4000 then click on modify you can see you will get 4000 radius 
starting and ending point remains same but the midpoint will be vary based on this radius value okay if you want to uh, if you want to flip this curved beam for example you want to create in this direction then you need to enter here negative value here to uh, on other direction okay we'll see later uh, now coming to the next point if you want to create a normal beam once again then select this beam and pick the first point here and pick the second point but you will get curved beam with a previous property like this and double click on this beam to change this uh, into normal beam uh, you can directly type here zero and number of segments one otherwise you can load from standard beam property also for example click on here and let's take beam property once you load, load this property you can see now radius and number of segments automatically change into one and the radius is zero now click on modify to change curved beam to normal beam like this by using this option also now coming to the second method uh, if you have a starting point and ending point with radius value then you can directly uh, come to this beam option select this beam and pick the first point and pick the second point to create normal beam first then right click on mouse interrupt and double click on this beam now scroll it down and we have for example we have radius of 4000 and number of segments we need to enter maximum 59 then click on modify to get the radius like this now we have radius of 4000 and we have starting point and ending point like this for example if you want to create this radius in other side for example if you want to create the curved in this direction bottom direction then double click on it and you need to enter negative value before the radius value then click on modify you can see you will get opposite direction like this you can see now all curved beams are created on x y plane you can see x and y double click on it you can see uh, scroll it down you can see plane we have x y plane for example if you wanted to create a curved beam in elevation view for example you can see click on window and select this view list and let's take elevation on grid one select it and click on this arrow to open elevation view and close it you can see uh, now currently we are in elevation on grid one okay now we're going to create a curved beam here so select this curved beam and pick the first point here and pick the second point and third point to create a curved beam click on expand you can see now still we don't have curved beam in this direction right click on mouse interrupt click on window and set this 3d view you can see now have this curved beam on xy plane only because of uh, click on window and select this elevation view double click on this beam to open beam property window currently we have xy plane you can see in our elevation on grid one we have plane here is xz we need to change this uh, plane so click on here and set this xz plane and click on modify to see the result you can see now we have curved beam like this okay if you want to create this curved beam on opposite direction then double click on it and then change this value negative value then click on modify to create like this you can see now we have curved beam like this okay similarly if you want to create a normal beam if you want to change the normal beam to curved beam then select this beam and click on here first point and pick the second point here to create a normal beam first but you will get previous property of curved beam then double click on it then click on here and set normal beam load the normal beam property and click on modify to get like this okay now go to create once again select this beam and pick the first point and pick the second point to create a beam normal beam right click on mouse interrupt and click on window and set this 3d view you can see now we have created normal beam like this double click on it now i'm going to change this pro uh, profile so click on here let's take ism indian standard metal beam 400 let's take modify apply ok and click on modify to see the result 
and I'm going to change this color. So let's take class file. Now, if you want to change this normal beam to curved beam, then double click on it, and we need to change this plane to XZ, and let's take the value of four three thousand five hundred. Then number of segments we need to enter here fifty nine. Then click on modify to see the result. You can see you'll get curved beam like this. If you want to create in opposite direction, then enter the negative value here and click on modify. You'll get in like this. If you want to change this plane, then click on here and select the XY plane. Click on modify to get the direction like this in XY plane. Okay. Click on here. Let's take XZ plane. Click on modify. You'll get in XZ plane like this. And let's take in opposite direction. Remove this negative value. Click on modify. You'll get like this. Okay. If I wanted to change this I section beam to pipe, then double click on it. Uh, let's take the profile. Click on here. Uh, let's take minimize this I section profile, and I'm going to change into the circular pipe. Uh, let's take the value here, 300 millimeter dia, and let's take thickness here, 8 millimeter. Then click on apply. OK. Now click on modify. You'll get pipe like this. For example, uh, we're going to change this color into magenta color 7. You can see. Use the shortcut control R and pick the rotation point here. Then use the control and mouse middle button to rotate like this. You can see now we have pipe like this. Okay, now I'm going to change this uh, pipe to rectangular. So double click on it and click on here. And I'm going to change this into rectangular halo section. Let's take RHS. Then let's take here 250 and height and width. Apply OK. Click on modify to see the result. You can see now we have square pipe. If you wanted to change it into the rectangle, then click on here. Uh, we need to change the value different in width and height then click on here and select this one hbt now we have height is the 300 and uh, width is well let's take 150 and thickness we're going to change here into six thickness then click on apply ok click on modify to see the result you can see now we have like this if you want to make this point middle of this pipe then we need to change this at depth let's take middle click on modify to make exactly at the center of this pipe like this and close it you can see now have a rectangular pipe curved beam like this you can see you'll get like this click on space right click on mouse rear view and zoom out you can see you'll get curved beam like this Okay, that's it about how to create Karud Beam in Tecla Structures 2023 version with this Karud Beam tool. If you like this video, please like it and share it. If you have any doubts, please comment below. For more Tecla Structure related videos, please subscribe my channel, the NSK YouTube channel. Okay, thank you.